Alright, so we still have uh, Galactic Ranger missions. So throughout the game, we have the ability to... Like on uh, on Marcadia, we had uh, we had like those series of missions we had to do. So some of them are necessary. There's five. I think there's five. One hundred twenty four thousand. We could probably afford. Oh, hang on. That's leveled up. Leveled. Okay, yeah, we got plenty of stuff. We don't need to buy anything right now. Yeah, there's three mandatory Galactic Ranger campaigns and two optional? This is one of the optional ones. So yeah, we, we killed their queen, but their society is not gone yet. We still need to take Kavu Island. I don't know what the military significance of the island is. We already clearly have a, like, staked outpost on their main island, like where the queen was. That seems like the most important island, right? And yet, it's not. <laughs> Apparently Kavu Island is of military significance, despite the fact that there's nothing out here, I don't think. Oops. Damn it. It's probably best just to do circles. Can I not access? Where is my... Uh... trying to think of what is after this. We need to... Sometime very soon we're going to be getting the second Quark Vid comic. We're going to be getting... I think Dax might be next. There's a planet called Dax, which has... Well, okay, so to get to Dax... We need a couple of, like, very... They're going to give us a couple of really good gadgets. That we need for Dax. And then on Dax, uh, that's where we get the uh, charge boots. We get them so much earlier in this game than the last one. No, this is fine. This whip is almost leveled up. Um, hmm. Damn it. Okay. Uh, hmm. No. There we go. Don't no. Eh, eh, eh. Damn it. Almost had it. Okay. Yeah. 
these guys reach so much further than they should. I swear. God damn it. Okay. Whatever, that's fine. At this point, whatever keeps me alive. I think they're, yeah. I'm not about to turn my back on a guy that could snipe me. Oh boy, eight thousand dollars. We need air support. Get to the hover ship. Blast those drop ships out of the sky. You know, for the longest time, there's like a uh I can never remember the name for, but there's this very human thing where, like, we personify things, we try to find faces in things, and for the longest time when I was a kid, these dropships, I'm just gonna look at one real quick and not shoot it down, the thrusters up at the top, the two yellow circles, I saw those as eyes, and then the black glass part where the cockpit is, where the pilot actually is. I saw that as like a koala nose. Like I saw these dropships as like weird elongated koala faces. Specifically koala, I don't know why. But like very clearly looking at it now, like it's thrusters, a cockpit. I don't think that's just me. Like for the eyes part, I think I have heard other people say that That guy has a that that ranger has a much deeper voice than the other ones. I don't know if that's just a, a processing issue with the remaster or. They just keep coming. We can't hold out much longer. Hell yeah. Thousand. That's a bit better. The Tyranoid base is protected by an impenetrable force field. We're still trying to figure out a way to get past it. In the meantime, this whole mission is just based on distance. Let's not get any closer than we need to. Oh. Didn't I just... Wasn't there a whole mission about, like, destroying all of these? That they're gone now? I think I just saw another one show up. Yep, it's shooting at me. To the left. It can go ahead and shoot at me. These things don't have lock on, like the turrets or the, the ground to air launchers. Very unfortunate. Six, 
Rest in peach H26. This one's for H26. Damn you, Terranoids. They are definitely the cause of H26 death. Definitely. Uh, don't have the charge boots. Not yet. Do not cross that bridge yet. Okay, is this the ambush bridge or is it the second one? Ambush. Yeah, Plasma Whip B4. Hell yeah. I love the lava gun and it's so much better in this game okay. um, yeah they're both ambush bridges I, I refuse to go down like this. Damn it. Health. Okay. Uh, one guy left up there. Okay, and one. There we go. You are now in complete control. Yeah, and that's it. Uh, uh, I guess if we need six thousand dollars.
That is a why that is a drastic drop in money. From twenty thousand for doing it the first time to six thousand six hundred for subsequent runs. God damn. <laughs> oh. Okay. What is going on? Of course, my phone decides to blow up the second I start streaming. Okay. Um. Oh, once again, we don't really need anything for right now. Although, I guess, I guess a lot of our weapons aren't that great at range. Lava gun and the whip, not really great at ranged. Um. Nitro Launcher and uh, the Mini Turret Glove are fine. I like the Mini Turret Glove because it has a, an okay range and you can always back up once you throw it. I mean, you still have to get close for it to be effective like that, but... was the biggest tyranoid you've ever seen. <laughs> Big as a star cruiser and packing twice as much firepower. There was no escape. He was coming right at me. Closer, closer. Oh, what am I gonna do, right? Closer, even closer. Click, click. My blaster jam. <laughs> no way. What happened next? Yes, go on. We're all riveted. So, this is the mighty Q force I've heard so much about. Pathetic. I could obliterate the lot of you, and they wouldn't even mention it in Supervillain Weekly. True, sir, but you'd have done the fashion world an enormous service. And as for you, Agent Clank, I have far grander plans for you. <laughs> All right, Lawrence, you can turn it off now. Oh, may I, sir? What a treat. Al, come in! Someone just transmitted a hologram onto the ship. I need to know where the signal came from. Let's see. Activating the signal. Six-pass alpha key encryption. Amateurs. I got it. It came from a facility on planet Dax. Accessing their computer files. Planet Dax? Aha! I found something suspicious. Patching it through now. Take a journey inside the enigmatic mind of our galaxy's foremost evil genius, Dr. Nefarious. We'll take a tour of this secret facility on planet Dax, home to some of the galaxy's most insidious super weapons, including the dreaded rainbow Afrolyzer. Dr. Nefarious, we've all enjoyed your past work, but how do you respond to critics who say your latest galactic schemes are just more of the same? I will annihilate them! Lawrence. Tell us a bit about this top secret super weapon being constructed on planet Dax. Well, super is such a strong word. For that matter, weapon may be a tad overdoing it. We do, however, have a lovely view of the ocean at sunset. Is Dr. Nefarious poised <laughs> on the brink of galactic domination? Or is this super weapon just the latest in a series of maniacal pipe dreams? Stay tuned for more from Super Villain Weekly. Whatever Nefarious is doing on Dax, it can't be good. We'll check it out. You're welcome. Yeah. That. Time to go to Dax. So, you've come back to displace my training course once again, hmm? Actually, we were hoping we could just pick up the gadgets and split. We have a spaceship to catch. Ha! 
You slackers are always looking for the easy way out. When you can pass the course, you can have the device. Sure, fine. Alright. Yeah, so, uh... The, the two gadgets we get from this, the hacker, this game's, uh, hacking minigame, which I don't mind. I don't mind this hacking minigame. But we also get the hyper shot, which is different than the swing shot. Uh, I mentioned it during the Going Commando playthrough that it is a combination of the dynamo, which makes platforms, moves platforms and stuff, and uh, the swing shot. They did the very smart quality of life thing and just made it one single... Right on. Yeah, you can see it right there in my hand. It, uh... It looks like a combination of both. It's got, like, the dynamo's glowing green, uh, like, uh, orb thing, like the little antenna, as well as the hook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and, uh... I haven't I haven't brought it up before, but um, so the 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 voice cast in these games is very prolific. I have talked about that. Uh, James Arnold Taylor, David Kay, uh, but the voice of Doctor Nefarious is Armin Shimmerman, who plays like the dad in the Psychonauts games, like uh, Rasputin's dad. Damn it. Uh, as well as Quark, but not the Quark from Ratchet and Clank, which I think is really funny. Uh, he was Quark in Star Trek. Uh, DS9... Oh, God, I know him from DS9, but I feel like he appeared in another, like, Voyager? I feel like there was another Star Trek show that Quark showed up in, but... I digress. I think it's really funny that they took the guy who played Quark and casted him as Quark's arch nemesis. And we're not going to get the skill point. <laughs> There's a skill point for doing this really fast. Damn it. It's only really viable once the... Uh all these doors are open like the second time you do this you don't have to do the hacking again it's just the obstacle course yeah i'm a big fan of uh this mini game however at certain points it goes up to like four or five levels deep of this, and I feel like that's a bit much. Th three is a good solid. Like, you can make it more difficult, but just adding more layers feels uh, unnecessary. Or even just increasing the score for each layer. You know? Making the score... Uh... Oh, shit. You know, increasing the score from, like, 10 to 20. That's the equivalent of two separate stages, but... That was pathetic. I digress. That is... Oh, that is stuck. Okay. That is fine. Alright, we got our shit now. We'll just take those gadgets and be on our way. Oh, yeah. Your little man is coffee now. Ho, ho, ho. Maybe you'd like to meet Helga on the wrestling mat? Hmm? You'll see how cocky you are, twisted up like a fat noodle. Uh, maybe next time. Hansies. Great character, I love Helga. 
We need more powerful plus size women. Uh, did I get out? I did get that trophy. That was the trophy on Tyrannosis. <laughs> oh, nepotism. The monkey beat out the actual scientist. No, no. Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about weapons. Uh, okay. Let's... Duh. Nope, I... I keep forgetting this is not, like... So, in this game... Uh, okay, in the previous two games, when you would click on a planet, it would bring up, like, a summary of the planet and all the missions that you have there. This game doesn't do that. This game doesn't do that. I did not want to go back to Florana. I just wanted to double check the, uh, the bolts, the titanium bolts. Ugh. Okay, it's right there on the two out of two. Three out of seven. One out of three. We don't have the gravity boots yet. Oh, one out of two. Win all the challenges. We can always go back to back to that. We, we're going to have to go back to Annihilation Nation at some point. Uh, Sewer Crystals... This one we can go get real quick. So the, the bolt that we missed on Tyrannosis, we needed the hyper shot for, which we now have, so. Zoom! I'm playing this right after, like, a couple days after, uh, finally finishing up, uh, <laughs> um, Spyro Into the Dragonfly. That very short little, uh, bite-sized stream. And, uh, God, I miss dynamic loading screens. What a bad game. And like I said before, we're not worrying about skill points. There's a skill point for killing a lot of the people on these towers. Uh, on Florana, we didn't get the skill point for going through the path of death without getting hit. I'm not. Uh, that's fine. Ah, oh, there's one of them. Killer. Duh. Oh, there's one dude. Dead. Sick. Is Ratchet even, like, driving? Oh my god, he's just... You can see him in the drive... You can see Ratchet in the driver's seat. He, his hands aren't on the controls or anything. He's not... He's not T-posing! But that's basically just T-posing. Oh my god, that's great.
Okay, now we'll go to Dax. Jack and Dax. So there's a mini boss fight on Dax. Like, you could... Anything with a health bar, I guess you could consider, like, a boss fight in this game. I, I don't know why, but there's just, like, certain points where I'm like, this doesn't feel like a major boss fight. Like, the tier, the Queen Tyranoid fight, that felt like a major boss fight. I don't know, maybe it's the fact that they put them back to back. Like, there's also a boss fight with a health bar and everything on this planet. Right after the Tyranoid fight. It doesn't feel as major. Uh, fuck. I want... I want what's down this path, but... I'm trying to think if we actually have the firepower to do so. Because there's lots of... Uh, yeah, fuck it. I'm gonna go get the sniper rifle. Too many, uh, ranged enemies. Oh, okay, that's not gonna drop us below 100,000. That is fine. Any day now. There we go. Quick select, uh... That, and then we have a second ring. R1? Yeah. Alright, so we'll do weapons on the first layer, gadgets on the second layer. Easy. Uh, whip. Uh, whip. Yeah, there's no way would be we would be able to hit. At least with the weapons we had, there was no way we'd be able to hit that guy. We just did not have the range. And I guess the I guess the rocket launcher does hit harder and reach kind of as far, but eh. Eh. I don't feel like going all the way back. Easy. Now don't fall in the water here. Uh, falling in the water here will kill me. And make me go all the way back. I really like... It's it's very common in Ratchet and Clank games just for the sake of uh, not too much level to work around. I really like the island aesthetic here. You know. Big old secret facility. I like it. Yeah, give them to me.
charge boots, which are different than the hover boots that we get. I, like, they introduce a few different types of boots that all basically do the same thing. Plumber trophy. Because he is an integral character. And that is not, be being, not me being facetious. The plumber is a very important character. I love him. Uh, era. Era. Uh, yeah. No, I'm not worried about it. Not worried about it. Okay. I completely forgot that we specifically set up the rings. You know what might be easier? You know what might be easier for the quick select? Uh, ring one. Okay, so all of all of the weapons that need to be upgraded are gadgets. And then on this ring, we'll just tuck everything that's been upgraded that we're probably not going to be using as much. That feels... That feels a little more efficient. Nope. Ghost ship. That thing warped out of nowhere. There are all kinds of strats to quickly get around this uh, section, and it is insane to watch. <laughs> That's not fair. That's not fair. He, sh he shot... It shot at where I was. Oh, God. Ah! What the hell? What the hell? Oh, man. I was all kinds of tangled up in the charging cable for uh, my controller. Just to make sure it doesn't, like, low battery die during the stream, I keep it plugged in at all times. Which is really bad for the whole wireless controller thing. Just leave it plugged in. But... There we go. And a checkpoint. But yeah, there's all kinds of strategy with the uh, with the hover boots, I think, just to glide across geometry and get tons of air. Well, at least I got a checkpoint. What I find interesting, and this isn't me just trying to make conversation, I genuinely think this is interesting. So across the games, like all the different planets have different enemy types and stuff, uh, except for games like this where the Tyranoids, like making the enemies a certain type is like part of the story. Uh, like all these different planets have all these different flora and fauna. Uh, in the second game, we were in a entirely different galaxy like we were okay we were in uh the bogon galaxy and some of the only crossover in like creature typings were the fish like the fish that just ate me is the same fish no i think the fish on in blackwater city i think those were green these are orange but, like, it's the same fish. Like, fish can just come in different colors. That's what some fish do. That's their thing, is just being different colors. Uh... Hmm. 
But, uh... Yeah, man. That, those same fish were in a facility in Ratchet and Clank 2 in a completely separate galaxy. Damn it. So here, here's something interesting. In all of the speedrun strats, the idea is to get to the uh, the platform beyond this boss fight, like where all those crates are behind it. However, just getting to that platform does not trigger the cutscene, like the the cutscene that unlocks the planet and stuff. It doesn't trigger until you beat the boss fight. So people like speed run their way to the island and then have to backtrack like hop back over to this island to make sure that they're like that they kill the am i hitting it <laughs> ah son of a bitch There we go. XP? Yeah! Did anything level up? No. That is fine. I do kind of miss, from the second game, they had the nanotech upgrades that you could find. I was just thinking about that because that swing shot nearly flung me onto the roof, and I was thinking about the uh, nanotech upgrade on Snivelak and uh, going commando. It's all, like, you, you can get to, like, 100 health just from leveling up based on, like, XP and enemy kills. I kind of miss the free Check gimmies of level up. Looks like somebody's a big fan of Courtney Gears. Courtney who? Come on, remember that bombshell handing out prizes on Annihilation Nation? Ah, yes. Her specifications were remarkable. Yeah, well, she's not the hottest pop star in the galaxy because of her singing. That is odd. It appears this computer was recently used to edit one of her music videos. Oh, let's watch it! I, I mean, you know, it may contain a clue or something. Yeah. Jinkies. Gears may be in league with Dr. Nefarious. Yeah, who knew? She always seems so sweet and innocent in her videos. Well, except for that one with the... You know what I <clears throat> She might possess information about what Nefarious is planning. Oh, right. And if we win that grand prize on Annihilation Nation, we'll get another chance to talk to her. I am begging literally everybody ever. Because, like, iconic. Like, I'm not gonna lie. It's probably the most iconic cutscene in this game. Oh. 
overshot it. I'll, I'll right. Everybody who's played this game knows that cutscene. However, that also. There, there's also, you know, that's, that's horny as hell. Ratchet was horny as hell. And I'm just begging everybody ever just to take a cold shower. Okay, let's... What, uh... What's over here? Trying to remember- trying to actually remember what, uh, planet we get. Oh, okay. I got him confused. I was thinking, uh... Even though we literally just saw the cutscene where it was like, we need to go back to Annihilation Nation, we'll get another chance to talk to her. I was thinking about uh, the planet we get from this route instead. Actually, just me being stupid. Yeah! So it, uh, it unfortunately destroyed, bef it unfortunately got destroyed before I could show it off, but, uh, you notice I have the times two again, so we have double money, double XP. Eh, I think, I think reasonably the double going for the, as much XP as possible during that was probably the smart decision. Money we c money is easier to grind out in this game than XP in my opinion, so we're fine. That, uh... All organic life forms there we go. Report to Sector 8 for immediate execution. Thank you for your cooperation. Okay. Yeah, so in case you didn't pick up on it, uh, and this is kind of where, like, the Secret Agent Clank thing becomes integral to the story, <laughs> Nefarious hates organic life. He is a robot who works with robots and only robots, and he sees, he basically sees Clank as a race trader for working with so many uh, squishies. Which, interesting, interesting route for these games to take. Alright, hit me with it. Damn it.
ねえねえねえねえねえ I should do a tier list of all the hacking mini games because I feel I've talked about this before I don't just mean for Ratchet and Clank just a tier list of hacking mini games because I've talked about this before where I really like a lot of different hacking mini games in video games but uh that does not seem to be a popular opinion. A lot of people consider the hacking mini games, you know, it's it halts, you know, the gameplay, it's it's intrusive on the story, it, you know, doesn't feel like it works. I hear lots of different uh, takes on Yikes. Sick. But yeah, like, uh, I think what it comes down to is uh, when when you hack in a video game, is it a puzzle or is it a mini game? Because, like, I would consider the Sly, the Sly franchise, like the Bentley hacking mini game, that is a mini game. That's like a top down tank control shooter. Well, yeah, tank controls. Steer with one stick aim with an, with the other. I'd consider that a kind of turret control. No. There we go. But like the infiltrator in Ratchet and Clank 1, that's a puzzle. That's a that's a thinker. That's not really a uh you know what I mean? Does that make sense? I think I think that's like a quintessent. I think that those are good examples of like the two ends of the spectrums, in my opinion. Or like, uh, the uh, Bioshock. The the Bioshock one, I wouldn't consider a puzzle because it's randomly generated. I feel like if, um, I feel like to be a puzzle, well, no, that's not fair. Bioshock, so for those who don't know, the Bioshock hacking minigame is, uh, it's a tube game puzzle. Like, you have to un uncover squares and just connect, like, two ends with, like, tubes and stuff. I can see that as a puzzle. I will say, however, since it's timed and it's randomly generated, it kind of feels more like a mini game. But I guess it doesn't fit with the, uh, the Sly 2 example I gave of this is a mini game. Like this, this is a mini game. This is not a puzzle. There's no thinking involved. I would consider the electrolyzer from shit. I would consider the electrolyzer from t Ratchet 2 as a puzzle. No, as a mini game, but the No, the Trespasser was from Ratchet and Clank 1. The Infiltrator is from 2. I'd consider the Infiltrator out of ammo. Eh, yeah, this is fine. That's what I want. This is fine, this is fine, this is fine. There we go. Yeah. Are you interested in a career in the exciting fields of building security, execution, or VCR repair? Visit the job fair on level. Uh where is Huh. I thought there was a uh
I thought there was a uh, a times two crate in here somewhere. That sucks. Cause there's a lot of crates in here. Oh well. Let's. No. The hacker is not in. Oh, and now that we have the hacker, we can go back to uh, Aquados and get some stuff there. Cause there was there was a couple like side routes with a uh, skid. Cause like skid had the hacker, so we couldn't just hack any terminal we found. Unfortunately. Damn it. I, okay, so I, I was just thinking about this, because, like, there's some indication of, like, the, the green ones are a little rounder, the red ones don't really have much of a shape to them, you know, they're a little more nebulous. Color blindness runs in my family in a very particular way. Um, I, myself, am not colorblind, but my grandfather was. And he saw green and red as brown. That was like his color blindness. So I'm just thinking about how awful this minigame must be for people who are colorblind in that way. And there's not really like a... Uh... N newer games these days have those. high level access to all of Nefarious's project files. I found something. I am afraid it does not look good. Bio Death Star. Huh. I see what you mean. What exactly does it do? That information it's a Death Star. has been deleted. Uh oh. Well, where is this thing? Location unknown. However, a large transport vessel left this facility yesterday. It was headed for the Obani Moon system. The Obani Moons, huh? Well, we better check it out. Yeah, I like the Obani moons. But yeah, like, uh, games back, you know, older games didn't have those, like, uh, inclusivity things. You know, it's, it's, it's part of the Game Awards now. As of, for those watching the VOD, as of time of recording, the Game Awards were last night, and, uh, God of War swept, but Elden Ring won Game of the Year, which was interesting to me. Uh, I digress. Like, inclusivity and, uh, accessibility options are, like, a big thing now in games. Which is great. Hi, Skid. Can we talk to Sasha? Sasha and Quark are meeting with the president, man. They left me in charge of the ship. What? Uh, I mean, I see. Uh, well, is Al there? He's out to lunch. Helga? In the sauna. Quark's monkey, perhaps. Just tell Sasha that Clank and I are checking out a lead on the Obani moons. The Obani moons? Sounds like you guys could use some backup. I'll grab my gear and meet you there. Uh, no, 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 no. <sighs> Great. Hell yeah. I like how they put the monkey above Skid. I love Skid. He, he, he... Yeah, he's not the smartest, so what? Leave him alone about it. Leave him alone about it. <laughs> 